back in your own time. Um, so oh, thank you. Yeah, so like the thing with Ryan here. Um, do you just play Ryan here? Do you how often do you play Ryan? Um, he's my main tank now. I play him most of the time. Most of the time. Okay. Um. Yeah. Cool. 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 So, what are Ryan's strengths? Um, he's he's really good at holding corners and up close. Yeah. Right. Um, close range is really really key with him. Um, I also think his his mobility is kind of underrated. Um, I think people overlook pin a lot, and against this comp specifically, um, you probably won't be won't be using it that much. But like for example, you're playing against a very very split comp, like a um, Somber Tracer, uh, Zen Ana, things that play distance or things that play around you instead of like yeah. boring down main. That's what pin can be really useful, right? So like for example here, um, if they're playing ball or something and they're flanking around, then you as Ryan can effectively zone out their entire backline. Plus some fire strikes, maybe get into swing range, um, and that's how you get value on the Ryan hot there. Um, so, so yeah, that's just basically. I, I, I think um, people like LH Cloudy, they call it die parts. Um, I think they constantly do it all the time because not every game are you going to be able to get something like this, which is really really brawly. So you're kind of like fine sitting here and then like doing basic Ryan mechanics. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll, you will see. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, a few key things uh, with Ryan. Um, a really really big one is uh hp management um same thing on over march or two um i see this all the time but basically with ryan um the general rule of thumb is is that when you lose all armor um you need to be shielding like that you just can't be swinging um obviously there will be times where say there's only one person on top of you and they're low hp um and you're like 200 hp then sure you can swing onto them but like against that comp i'm seeing right now like if you get knocked down and you're all your armor's gone um, because armor takes a longer time to deplete than normal HP, you'll feel a lot more squishy when your armor's gone, which is why it's so important to be able to shield um, and essentially just not swing or even fire strike. I see this so many times with Reinhardt's just fire strike on like 150 HP and they die for it. Um, so it's really, really key that you you essentially just regen up your HP, especially your armor, then you can keep going. Right. The last thing I want to see is this Cassidy or this Hanzo especially doming your body when you're, you're in your fire strike animation. Um, yeah, this is really, really not great. So HP management is really key. Um, also, uh, your your fire strikes. Um, how how do you normally use your fire strikes in Ryan? Um, so I kind of recently I've been trying to space them out more instead of just double fire striking. But it, I do double fire strike sometimes, and I try to space it out so I at least have like half a strike before I keep striking. Yeah, I get I get what you mean, I get what you mean. Um what about like your do you put much thought into into fire strike placements? Um not really. I kinda just try and get the tank with it just from an ult charge, but I think it's better if I maybe go for lower HP like squishies. Okay, so um yeah, I mean honestly like You'll see the best vines be able to hit squishies constantly, but the one the one constant I see with with fire strikes, and this is a really really simple tip, um, is to just fire strike on corners. <laughs> um, the okay. reason the reason being is that if we zoom out and go third person here, um, I like describing corners as like hot spots of the map, right? And hot spots essentially where where people are playing, where people are peaking, um, the greatest density of players around, right? So if you look here, mm. fire striking here, like maybe there's Hanzo peaks, maybe there's Cassidy peaks here. Um, and then you can even get collateral fire strikes, um, and it's also very consistent, right? Because you're always aiming at the corner. You're not re having to rely on tracking a projectile that moves at 20 meters per second. Um, it's very reliable and consistent. Just fire striking corners like this around the statue, like this. Um, even when you're playing here and you're playing around here, even fire striking around this corner here is really really key. Um, you will okay. get collaterals, and you will eventually like hit squishies just you know because they're peeking around the corner. Um, yeah, that's what is a very simple tip that just to help you land your fire strikes and get ult charge. Um, it's also really important in the uh, we've just moved into Shasta now, so like it's really also really important in the Ryan versus Ryan dichotomy. Um, that like you you also you really need to keep track of a Shasta, right? Not just for your own sake, 
but tr keeping track of chatter also make sure that you're you know how to, how aggressive you can play um and you know like when you can play a bit more defensive like for example you know they have chatter you don't right then you need to be playing significantly more defensive and uh, preserving your shield before the fight begins um whereas if it's vice versa then obviously you're going to be looking to get ch and you're looking to be trying to get like cheeky chatters um onto i mean they're going to be playing quite stacked with this comp here it's not very split, mm -hmm. it's not very divey. So you're going to be looking to get greedy shatters behind the Ryan, maybe onto the Baptiste, the Hanzo, and the Cass if they're not flanking. Um, yeah, so that's really, really key there as well. Um, I did briefly mention shield management too. Um, just don't don't use shield before the fight begins. It's just, I'm not even going to write it down. Um, but like, you don't want the Rhinot to be here. Like, you're, you're fighting the Rhinot here, and then you're like 600 HP shield. Um, it's just not, it's not great. Um, it gives you okay. less time, like, if, again, it feeds back to the HP thing too, um, you're not going to be able to regen your HP as quickly if you've got a low shield, because then you can't play as defensive, um, and the Reinhardt also will play more aggressive, especially if you've got Shatter, if you're on low shield. Um, so yeah, please let it regen, don't use it before the fight begins, and don't also flick it out as well, um, because, like, you know, if you're flicking your shield out to help your team, um, then you're not going to regen it at all, essentially. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I think those are the main, the main points here, honestly. Um, fire strike corners, watch HP management, um, obviously the camera thing, the camera thing with the swings to get more people. Um, shatter, I mean, that affects your playstyle, um, and shield management there too. So we'll see how this goes. Um, okay. yeah. Okay. It's like right here, like I'd be fire striking around like... Even even here, right? Like around this corner, right? Because the Rhinot and the Cassidy okay. um literally just peak the corner, right? Um you could even get collateral onto them if you just fire strike around here ish, like somewhere here. Um because they're peeking on the corner. Okay. Okay, right. Even yeah, that statue's good, right? Like you didn't hit anyone there with the statue, right? But like you almost yeah. hit the there, right? And imagine like you can see how stacky these guys are playing, right? Like you can easily get a collateral yeah. onto these four players here, um, just by fire striking around the corner. Okay. That one's good, right? Because you fire strike around here, like look how look how linear this yeah. one is, right? Might be very close to hitting the Baptiste and the hands over there. Um so yeah, so yeah. Okay, let's talk about position here. Okay. Okay. So why do you walk up forward here? Um, I wanted to try and hold that rock right there, maybe to try and keep him back a little bit. It's so like holding, like keep the vine up back, uh, past the yeah. right? Um, mm -hmm. what's the main issue? Do you see any issues with this? I um, out. I don't really have any cover, and my shield can get damaged yeah, a lot. Right? Like, you have no retreats, essentially. You have nowhere to stabilize, um, and look how far you are away from trying to get into back into cover, right? So you're very, very far away. Okay. You just got no you got nowhere to stabilize. Um so and also they got Luzu here too, right? Like if you're Rhinot here and your shield gets broken, mm -hmm. like you could easily get sped on, maybe pinned, um, and then naded, storm arrowed, whatever, right? Like you can easily very you can easily die here. Um so I wouldn't be holding it at all. Like there's just no okay. no place for you to stabilize here. Um Yeah. Okay. And we can even see like the shield management, right? Like the right by the time yeah. you match the Rhinot here, you're gonna have 500, 600 shield, and you're also down HP here too, right? Which isn't great. Yeah. Right here, right? It's fine, right? But now look, you're down half your shield, um, all because you decided to walk around here, right? And you didn't really achieve much. Um, so, so yeah. Yeah. Right, that first strike was uh, was decent, right? Again, around the corner. Yeah, I would have preferred it if you did like this, right? Because these guys are strafing right side, and then you save your hit. Like, you can manage your, um, I didn't mention this, right? But, like, you can wind up the, the charge animation, uh, also the, the fire strike animation, then peek around the corner, just to minimize how much your hitbox shows. Um, because here, you're right, in, you're right on the open, your entire hitbox is exposed, which means this Hanzo, this Baptiste, this Reinhardt, whatever, right? Maybe even this Cassidy here too, can land some shots onto you, right? But if you wind up the, the animation here, then peek around the corner, fire strike, and then duck back into cover, you, you take less damage. Um, okay. Yeah. Valtrek was good though, um, because again, it's around the corner, right? They're peeking around the, the corner here. Um, so yeah. Hey, you're, so you're, if I uh, go on. if I had two fire strikes there, would it be fine if I uh, double fire yeah, strike? Yeah, it fine. Completely fine, yeah. Okay. Um, like your fire strikes, like very, 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 very rarely. Uh, your your fire strikes gonna land kills outright. Like in most situations, they're just they literally just full charge. Um, because okay. you're not gonna 
And like when at range, like unless you're in melee range, the only way you're gonna get ult charge is is through fire strikes. Um, and it's really really important that you get the the, the one up on the right now hit. So so yeah, actually let's see what did he, when did he use your fire strike? Uh, the last fire strike. But that's fine, right? Because it's around the corner, so I don't mind that one. Um, okay. So yeah, you could even you could even toss it around here, right? Because um, Rhinoc gives you tanks give you thirty percent less ult charge. Um, and again, these squishies oh. are stacked on top of each other. Um, did you not did you not know that um, tanks give you thirty percent less ult charge? <laughs> no, I had no idea. You had no okay, yeah. That's just a fun fact. Um, so if you damage okay, them, you. or you kill them, they give you thirty percent less ult charge. Um, not to mention, okay. um, because of the do you know how much uh, how much um, the, the damage reduction that armor does? No, I don't. So it does thirty percent damage reduction, right? So if you nope. fire strike that that Reinhardt, it will do it will do seventy damage, and um you get thirty percent of seventy, which is the amount of ultra you get, right? Which is like what was that fifty around uh, fifty ish forty nine? Um, okay. So you get fifty ultra 50, 50, 50 damage worth of ultra here. Whereas if you fire strike these guys, you get the four hundred. Um, so so yeah, just something to note. Okay. Yeah, I, I think a lot of players didn't know the thirty percent ultra charge thing. Um. No. Yeah. It's annoying too because it stacks with armor. Um, mm. So yeah. Like I, the worst thing, the worst thing I see is like, even Ryan's do this as well. Um, but like players in general, they'll focus on Arisa's. Like Arisa will be in Fortify. She'll have armor and then also the thirty percent um, tank passive. So they'll literally get no ult charge for um. shooting the Arisa. Um, so yeah, that's why everyone commonly says don't shoot the Arisa. Okay. Okay, it's okay though. Like right here, like I wouldn't even be picking this, right? Because you got no armor. Just wait for your Baptiste to heal you up and your Mercy here too, and then you can swing, yeah. and then you can pick and swing. If they peek around, I just shield. Um, I wouldn't even shield on. The, I wouldn't even shield, right? Um, the reason okay. being is because like, no, you're not pushing up, right? I feel like shield. It, a lot of why not? So just stand up and shield. Like even you did this here. Like you just kind of walk yeah. around here and then shield it for no reason. Um, shield is either used to walk forward, simply put, walk forward and take space, or retreat back. Um, those are the two things should be should, should be useful because if you're stand, if you're standing out here and shielding, the only thing you're shielding is your team, um, which is you know somewhat unpredictable. I often I often unless you're in a team setting, I don't advise shielding teams or shielding your teammates. If they die to the hands of her, it's their fault. Um, just bad cover okay. usage. Um, so yeah, I would just preserve shield here. Which looks fine. Okay. The Rhinox pin the, the pin on the Rhinox is okay because he he's out in open okay. space here. Um yeah. but I would just be thinking right now, like, as soon as I pin this Rhinox, like look at these guys, right? Um now they're actually S keying out here and they're thinking looking at the Hanzo. Um but like yeah. here, if I'm if I'm if I'm the enemy team here, like I'm actually I'm dead scared about the fucking the Hanzo, the the Baptiste damage, and you know, maybe my my because I pinned the Rhinox here, maybe I take a lot of damage, maybe my Mercy takes a lot of damage because because she's out in open space here. Um, so like, yeah, I, I don't mind you pinning the vinyl here, but just be a bit more aware, yeah. like, flick your, sh flick your camera to the left here, and look at whether the, the Lucio, the Baptiste, and the, and the Hanzo are walking forward, right, because the last thing you want is to, sh is to pin here, and then you don't shield off here, or you don't shield off these guys here, you don't swing at them, essentially you don't, you don't draw their attention, and then your mercy dies as a result. Um, okay, so, uh, if they are looking at me over there, what should I do if they're still looking? Just, uh, you just show leave the Reinhardt. Make make sure they look at you, not and not the, the your team. Like whether that's either swinging onto them, right? Again, the swing armor thing, right? If you've got armor, you can yeah. swing onto them. Even pin as well. Like you can maybe pin, cancel it. If you land, if you pin the other uh, Baptiste, you can get a free kill. If you don't, cancel it, and then you can swing. Um, the key thing is just making sure that you a live, and that you b uh, draw their attention. Like they're looking at you and not your mercy or not your bastion. Okay. Um, that's really the key thing. Um, and just the Reinhardt is fine over there. Um, like yeah, he he should die. He should die. Um, okay. He should die because like there's you got mercy, you got bastion. Um, the team should be fine there. Um, yeah, you should be fine with the trade. Okay. Like, honestly, you could even pin him right now because the bastion. He actually knocked the bastion on top of the over the thing. You could you could even oh. pin now and then like shield these guys off if they're still here. Um. So so yeah. Okay. Okay. Like yeah, like your target priority on why not? It just comes out to two things, or even any hero in the game, right? It's just ease. Like, what's the who was the easiest thing for me to kill, um, and what's also the most dangerous, right? Um, and for you in that situation, again, if the um, oh god, yeah, if the if these guys, they, these guys should be walking up. 
Like the Hanzo Baptiste should be walking up right now because the Vinot is creating a lot of space here. Um, yeah. But like these guys, Han the Hanzo, the Baptiste, the Lucio, they are more dangerous and they are easier to kill than a Vinot who's you know pinning in and didn't, he didn't even land the kill into the Bastion here. He's way off. Um, so <laughs> so yeah. Like that could have been that could have been messy there. Like imagine the Hanzo here looking at the Mercy. Right? Or uh, like that. Yeah. that could be bad. Um, so yeah. So it's better most of the time to hold that corner and maybe try to get a pin kill on the Hanzo or if if the Vi not pins in like this, yes. In this situation in this situation, okay. yes. Um because he's he's just way more dangerous. Like a Hanzo here is more dangerous to your mercy than a Bastion trying to pin a then you then the enemy Rhinots trying to pin a Bastion and he doesn't he doesn't land the pin. Um okay. so yeah. As I mentioned, your Bastion also has ironclads and he should be fine. Okay. Bastion, just whatever. Okay. Like here, I don't mind you using shield hit early on because you're going to get it back before the next team fight begins, so I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and even here, like, just exposing your hitbox completely out, right? Where it's just, all you need to do is just stand here and then throw fire strikes. Right, stand here, okay. and then throw a fire strike around here, maybe even here, right? Um, yeah. Like they're bashing, like, that hands of randomly died to, like, a, your, a bashing grenade. You could have easily gotten a kill there with a fire strike there, too, so... Okay. Right, and this is the thing about corners, right? Like, look, look at this fire strike. Like, flip it around the corner, right, and then you magically hit a Lucio, right? And the hot spots, right? Like these guys are of course gonna be playing on the cover here. Um, so yeah. Okay. Again, open space. And you've got no yeah. retreats. I'd much prefer you playing over here. Right, so now your team's okay. pushing up here, so this is actually would be okay to like walk up here. Um and not to mention you got a kill into the, the hands earlier, so it's a 5v4 right now. Um I think it's completely fine to walk up here. Um, and I guess because this is what your team's playing, so... Your hands are dies there, okay. So like here, because your hands are died, I'd probably be a little bit, a little bit more wary of my aggression. Um, but you know the Vinot shield is low. Right here. Like you can see cracks in the shield, right? And you've got a much healthier shield, so you should be able to swing onto this Vinot for, for free here. Swing, swing, swing. Fine. Right. I'll be playing a little bit closer to the cover here, just to avoid, um, you know, any damage that comes in my way, and I can back up more easily. Right. I'm always just a bit yeah. scared of you, like, getting r rushed on, essentially, um, because you're playing, because you haven't got retreats. Or play to stabilize. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's good there, right? So, like, here, the Vinot just pins him randomly. And because the Casty is an easy target to kill, because he's low HP, I would mm -hmm. I, I, even if you don't have the pin, the, pill kit, the pin kill here, just cancel it and then swing onto him, and he's and he's dead, right? But because he's, he's walking up here, and he's the most dangerous person on, your, on the entire team, this is fine. This pin's fine, right? The Hanzo, he's in fucking Narnia. Who cares about him, right? He's not a danger, <laughs> he's not a danger to your team. Same thing with Baptista, he's too far. Um, and the Lucio, he, who cares about him as well? As well. <laughs> um, so again, the target priority is good. Okay. And then now the Hanzo's pushed up, right? Um, I know that yeah. Vinot got the kill into the Bastion there, but he's way too far. So now like your, your target quality comes down to zoning this guy off. Um, and making sure he, he can't walk up and kill your team. Okay. Like, I literally, the, like, like, why not die to a Valk Mercy, right? Like, it's, like no one cares. Um, yeah. But even like now, right? So if I zoom up a little bit, right? Yeah. I'm not sure. You probably couldn't have been able to like mark these guys, right? But you can see how much threat is being put. It's being put into your hands over here. Like one more shot from okay. this Baptiste, and your hands are dead. Um, so again, this is why I'd be saying like try and mark these guys, right? Make these guys look at you, which allows your hands to get away with aggressive plays. Right? It allows your hands to to stay here for free if the Baptiste and the hands are looking at you, not your hands That's kind so of just go in there. In their vision, or going towards the Hanzo? So probably towards the Hanzo. Like, just make sure they're looking at you. Okay. Right? That's, that's, that's the key thing. Um, draw that, and if they're not looking at you, they're still looking at the Hanzo. Then you're free to walk forward and swing, right? which is the, the, the entire threat of tank. Um, so, so yeah. yeah. 
Same thing, I'd be saying the same thing if you were playing with Marshall here too, right? Like, you walk forward, um, you know, pop Nemesis form. If they're looking at you, then that's good. Your hands just can get away. And then you can block on, on Nemesis form. Um, if they're not looking at you, then you can pummel away, right? Same thing with Vine Arts. If they're looking at you, then you can swing, shield off if you're low. Um, if they're not looking at you, then you can swing through and fast strike. Okay. So this pin's fine. Oh, fine. And you should have done that earlier, I think. Maybe not maybe not pin because you didn't have it because you pinned the Cassidy, but just walk up forward mm -hmm. and, and then go into the uh, back line there. Okay. Like okay, here, I'd probably back off. Yeah. Is uh, holding behind the statue fine? If your or team's is it... playing around it, yes. Right. So, okay. but like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't permanently stay here. Right. Um. I mean, again, like, if, if you're playing, if you're playing points, you've got like, look, look how good this is to stabilize. Like, you can just hide here, get your, get your um, things back, get your resources back, and then you can also play the clock here too. Um, because these guys have to walk all the way up, which takes time off the clock. Um. So yeah, yeah I mean, look at your. Is there like a good way to know where you're? Team is? Or do I just check before a team fight? Just look, yeah, look at them. Or look at them. Yeah, you, what, you can see them through. If walls. I'm in the middle of a fight, should I just look back, or is it just game awareness? Um, well, right now, like you, you can literally just look at your entire team and be like, okay, okay. my my Baps is playing over here. My Bash is playing quite passive. Okay. Um, the only person aggressive aggressing is my Hanzo, so I can probably just play here, sit here. If my Hanzo gets pressured, then he can launch back and he's fine. Um, so so yeah. Okay. Like, for example, like, if you had, if you're playing Tracer, right, and, like, you've got a Tracer, I don't know, hiding here, you've got a Sombra playing here somewhere, you're fucking, um, you can probably play here relatively, right? Again, it's, it's context-dependent on what your team's playing, um, and sitting up, right? It's, it's not inherently wrong to play up, to play up front, um, but again, it's just dependent on what your team's playing. Okay. Like, right now, like, I back up. Like, you need to be asking out right now. Like you're down one, the enemy team are nowhere. Like you can, you could. There's nowhere you can close this distance and be fine. Um. Also, your bastion's playing passive as well. Like this is where you need to like be careful here and um, SK out. And that's just kind of done from your hands over. Like he's not, he's not playing cover. So it's fine. You can shoot the, you can shoot the res. It's fine. I don't know why you guys pop ammo for it, but whatever. And here, like, here's where you need to be careful, right? Here, like, this is where shield management comes into play here, right? Okay. Like, right... Right now, why are you shielding? Um, I guess I thought the Mercy was still rezzing, and I was a little late in my reaction time. Right, she's still fine here, though. She's in cover, right? Yeah. And your yeah. team can also play cover here, too, right? So this, this is okay. where, like, you need to, like, really be on it with shield management here, because there's just no reason to shield it, right? Even, like, with the hands of getting res, like, he's, he's getting... He has like a small invulnerability period, he's fine. Um, so like here I will just play passive and then wait for shield. Like just play this corner, right? Even I probably won't play this corner because we've got no retreats. So just play this corner here, mm -hmm. regen shield, toss up fire strikes, um, and then look for try and look for a shatter. Um, is, is really what you should be doing here. Okay. Regen shield, regen shield. Nice. Fine. Again, nice, nice fire strike, right? Again, this is why corners are so important. We didn't even know the loser was coming here, right? Um, yeah, good fire strike. Okay, shot as far. I don't know what the Rhino's doing, doing there, to be honest, so... <laughs> Should I have been careful with that Shatter, since he could have shielded, or... Um, is that fine pinning, since he was short? I'm not sure if he used it in response, or it reacted to his pin. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I mean, an easy way to get Shatters is either, um, Shatter, someone who's on an off angle, who's, like, not playing shield, Shatter, uh, fire strikes, um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, there's not okay. really a reliable or special when the enemy the enemy one fire strikes. Um, or pins in this case. Um, boy, land this. Um, so what is like the best way? The the way you can get the most damage out of a out of a shatter is it fire strike and then pin and fire then strike. yeah yeah. So like I don't think anymore you like before. Um, I think you used to be able to get. Two swings, or like a swing, a swing, fast strike, and then pin at the ends if you if it was safe enough. Okay. Um, but now I think it's either you swing or or fast strike, and then you pin afterwards. 
that's how you maximize the okay. most. Um, I think they, they increased the Shatter Stun a little bit back. I, I think they increased it somewhat. I think you can probably get away with Swing, Fire Strike, and then Pin, if it's safe. Right, because like right now, okay. like you learn the Shatter. Right, but look at the hands though. Um, we need Shatter here. They, they, they lose you actually, right? Like one Fire Strike here and you kill him, right? Um, yeah, instead of okay. looping him away, right? The Shatter does 100 damage, he's below 100 HP, right? and he dies, right? So, yeah. yeah. Loads of Ryans, just pin immediately. It's fine though, okay. It's fine. Fine. And cover, cover, cover. Like here, this pin's fine because you're full HP, right? I probably yeah. would have cancelled it a bit earlier, so just like shield hop a little bit, and you know, I'm not sure if you know this, but um, at the end of your pin, if you hold down shield uh, or hold on space bar and your shield, you get a little bit of extra distance. Um, oh, okay. Because it conserves the momentum. Um, but I probably would have like aimed my pin over here, play a little bit more cover, and then I would look to swing, look to fire strike around this co this corner here. Um, yeah. Okay. The question is, the question is fine, right? See, they've got no Reinhardt's. You want your teams out of west? It's fine. So there, I don't really need a shield. I can just stay behind the cover. Yeah, you can probably stay behind the cover, right? And then like fire strike out, and then you probably esky out when the Reinhardt comes back. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that fire strike. I know you're trying to like hit the hands over there, but if you just fire strike the corner here or here, you would have been yeah. like you like the percentage chance of you hitting the either the Baptiste or the Hanzo would be much higher. Okay. Okay. Like even there, like even lunge to the fucking statue. Like if you just like fire strike the <laughs> statue there, then he either has to stay in open space and be vulnerable to Hanzo or tank a fire strike. Um so yeah. Again, again, with the whole thing about walking forward here, right? Like is yeah. your team in a position to be able to walk forward here? Um if my team is pushing with me. If your team yeah, exactly, right? If your team's pushing with you, right? If you got a bastion here, Right with turret form and your Hanzo is like playing mm -hmm. really aggressively here, like with the multi pockets on, on high ground here. Like imagine here Hanzo here with pockets, right? Destroys these guys, right? And then you walk forward here, right? Like that kind of play, okay. like you only see that in uh in team play, right? And even then in team play, it's still like sometimes people it's too risky to do it, and sometimes people won't do it, right? But like walking forward here, I'd understand it if the rest of your team were aggressing and were like, okay, I'm gonna go on the side on here, get an angle with my mercy, I'm gonna my I'm gonna show my bastion and walk forward here. But that's not happening. Like your Bastion just you you saw it. Like your Bastion just used his start form. Like he's he's busy blitzing away right now, right? Um which means oh, yeah. that like afterwards, you know, you can't ingress. Right? So I will say the thing about Bastion here too, I haven't mentioned this in terms of comp. Um, but he's very, very cyclical. Um like his entire aggression is built around turret form. So like his if I do a graph of Bastion and do power and I do time. Bastion's power, Bastion's like line or graph looks like this. So like no power, right? And then top form, boom, spike, right? And then boom here, right? And then we wait, okay. and then like that, right? Like this, these okay. sort of periods are when you should be walking forward as Reinhardt's um, and aggressing, right? Um, but now it's just a bit too late for that. Okay. As a result, you end up doing nothing and waste half your shield, right? Yeah. You're engaging right now, and you've got 420 shield, right? 420, nice. Um, but yeah, <laughs> like right now, if this if this Reinhardt was smart, he'd walk straight onto you with beats, and you've got no shield, right? And then you're kind of cooked, right? Same thing with the yeah. entire enemy team, uh, enemy team here too. Again, look, you're getting completely aggressed on, and you've got 600 shield. Right? Let's see if that extra shield could have saved you here, because you might die here. Oh, you're very lucky. You are the luckiest person alive. <laughs> Like I'm looking at I'm looking at that HP bar right now and I'm like 51 16 HP 16 HP you go down to right and then now they matrix yeah right and then you've got 200 shield and you're you've got, you got thankfully you got immortality but you're low HP right she'll broke she breaks it right you could literally be right now you could be standing here right now with 800 more shield right if you just had, like, like not gone here and not aggressed it right for no reason um, so should I judge my uh, like uh, my aggression, or whenever I want to go and pin based on my shield. 
Yeah. Um, my shield health and my health. So like, yeah, I mean, yeah, for your shield and your shield health, HP, like right now, you not be aggressing, you should be cutting back and SKing out with shield, if you still had it. But like here, when you were walking forward here, like, your team just aren't with you, like, you're not coordinating that at all. Um, it's way more safer yeah. and more just time efficient on the clock if you are just stay down on the corner, throw in fire strikes, and then stabilize here if you need it to. Right, so we're significantly more safer, and you would have gotten the same amount of value, if not more. Um, whereas here, you're very likely to die, you should die here actually. Um, but, and you could have 800 more shield here, right, that you just wasted. Right? Again, shield is used for either walking walking in aggressively with your team, which you, you didn't really do there, um, or cutting yeah. back. Right? Um, yeah, I, I okay. see tons of Ryan just pop their shield and stand out in the middle of open space for no reason. Um, yeah. The shield management's been, shield management's been a big thing here so far. Right, and then you end up okay. like you 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 could have lived that honestly like 800, 800 more shield HP you shield up you shield up more shield up hit shield up to this corner you probably could have gone into yeah. there with more shield HP and lived that um so yeah, yeah. really unfortunate but judging by the how how long this game is um I assume they you guys don't they don't they don't cap it might be one no. okay. Pin him off the edge. Okay, yeah, I probably you could probably could have gone a bit more further and then pinned him off at the edge here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Kind of a small micro thing there, but it was fine. Nice. Like, he tried to do it to you. That was. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was lucky. Yeah, yeah. It's small micro thing there, right? But the biggest thing there was the shield. The biggest, biggest thing there was the shield and walking forward there, right? Um. There's just no. There's just no reason. Reason, reason to walk forward unless. Your team are coordinating some giga brain aggressive play. Like again, if you guys were like in in if you're in a team setting and you've got a Cassidy hiding here, you feel by all means walk forward. Right, hell, even pin, right, and then pin strength to the enemy team and then shield afterwards. Right, if your team are playing ag aggressively and you have some sort of aggressive plan set up, like again, like a Cassidy with the high noon over here, maybe um, an EMP behind. Like you've got Sombra, you're waiting for EMP, right? Um, those kind of aggressive players like that, like I'd only mm -hmm. see that with a, with a, with a team play and coordination. Um, in ranked, don't do that. Just stand here, you'll be fine. Um, because okay. that, that that costs your life there, that shield. Um, so yeah, that honestly against a better team, your shield would have bro broken by here. Honestly, like in in GM, your shield breaks here. Um, you would not have had any shield here when when the matrix goes out. Um, so yeah, and even in platinum, that causes your death. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, so so far fire strikes have been good, but I think that's mainly because of map geometry. I think again, just fire striking corners a bit more. Um, shadows okay. we haven't seen too much of because the enemy Rhino just likes to pin a lot. Um, but yeah, yeah, mainly when you know, mainly on mainly when the Rhino fire strikes, um, or if they're not running Rhinots onto like a singular target. Um, Shatter's is actually really really strong in five v five. I think um, when you're not playing into uh, enemy Rhinots, like it's just a free. It's a free slam, right? Um, even if you don't get the kill, you force out immortality field, Suzu, Nade, immortality, like any, any, like a bunch of support cooldowns for it. I think it's a good ultimate. Um, but your biggest thing so far has been shield management and also your aggression here on Ryan R2. Um, okay. Yeah, those have been the biggest things so far. So we'll see what, what goes on here on attack. Okay. Okay, now so another playing Avisa, right? So. Now is when I'd be like, okay, I can't, I'm not going to win the duel here against Theresa, right? She spear spins me, she, her spear spin eats my fire strikes, fortify diminishes my aggression. The key thing that I'm now looking to go on to now, right now is looking looking for a way to access their Rapsiste or to access their Symmetra. Um, their squishy targets in the back line. Um, this is actually a perfect time, again, this refers back to the dive out thing, right? Um, where you're looking to access the squishies and not play frontline, right? The basic Rhinox thing to do here is to play frontline against the Narisa Pharmacy, right? And then do nothing the entire game. But you need to play like Dive Art here. Um, so we'll see how it goes. The fire strikes are fine there. Um, again, I would have preferred it onto these guys probably, right? Um, there's just yeah. more bang for your buck in terms of the, in terms of the ultra you gets. Ooh, okay. Unfortunately, your 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 Ash Ash but again with the with the shield management thing here, right? Like you just you literally just wasted 300 shield here for no reason. You weren't walking forward, yeah. you weren't taking space. It was kind of again like the same thing you did way back there, where you just kind of walked around yeah. like on like here for no reason. You just wasted 300 HP shield there for no reason. Um, okay. So yeah. Okay. 
So right now, where what's your what, what's your number one priority, and where do you need to go? Um, trying to get the Baptiste and or point. Yeah, I'd probably. Sorry. Yeah, pro- I would say probably the Baptiste. I mean, if you go point net, you force you force all everyone all, all these guys back. So going point net isn't terrible. Um, I'd prefer your Tracer going point net because she just has she just she just has more mobility. Um, and if you go points, you also like have no map control. Your team are going to struggle to rotate through here. Um, it can get okay. kind of messy. Um, so I, I prefer Tracer going point net. Um, but yeah, definitely the, the Baptiste. Right, like I I want you guys to like walk here. And then go up these stairs and then try and access the Baptiste. Um, hell, you could even okay. potentially like pin across here, right, and then try and walk up here and then clear out the Baptiste if you're struggling. Um, okay. But yeah. Just don't, just don't fall into that visa, you will lose. I think that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, I, like even, even, this is great, like literally, this is great. So, like here, it's exactly what you need to do, right? Um, now, fortunately, unfortunately, this isn't about Batiste, right? It's, it's Mercy, so she flies away, right? But this, this mentality is what you need to be doing, right? Going for that backline. You even force out Immo. Like, look at that, right? Like, that's the kind of thing you need to be doing there. Um, okay. So, yeah, thankfully, you didn't go into the visa there. Actually, now you do, right? Which is um, yeah. not great. And here is where we get our... So, should first... I try to go up the stairs? I would probably, and I, I honestly, I wouldn't have. I would have just backed off here and shielded because look at your team. I'm like, your team just can't help you if you go upstairs. Um, oh, yeah. so, so I probably would have backed off there. Um, wait for my shield to, to get back, wait for my HP. Then I would have got up the stairs. Um, hell, you could probably, actually, actually honestly. Uh, let's see your HP here. Honestly? Yeah, you could have you could have pinned here, honestly. Right? And then clear out these guys single-handedly. Um, and still be like 400, 450 HP. With full shield, okay. have, you got, have you got full shield here? Yeah, you got full shield here. Yeah, you should be fine, honestly. Like you, you continue the pin, right? And then but that Arisa can't do anything. Um, I mean, and then you, and you just clear out these guys, right? Like you just shield, 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 clear out these guys. Um, and yeah, right, because like at this range, who wins? Right, you or a Mercy? Yeah. And Baptiste, right? You are the best. Cl- I'll just flash bang you there, but you are the best like close range hero in the entire game, right? This is the die for play style. Right, you pin through so, here. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, how would I play against? So if I ended up going there and they, and Farah and Mercy fly away and like damage boost, how should I use my shield against Farah and Mercy or flying heroes in general? I guess. Like if these guys, if these guys like fly away here, right? Yeah, if they fly up and just start. Well, well that's good. Start right. shooting my shield or me or. Well, if it's, if it's not showing, I mean, the, the key thing here is just to control the side ground, right? Control the space and allow your team to be able to walk through here and essentially okay. walk up into here, right? With your shield, and- um, you don't really need, like, if, if it's only you up here and your, your pharmacy shooting you, just go into cover and then save your shield. There's just no reason, right? Okay. Um, but, like, when, when again, when you're aggressing, that's when you want to you be shielding the pharmacy, right? Like, maybe, you know, you know maybe you're, um, you're here with your Baptiste, you're... Uh, that's not the wrong team. Um, with your Ash, right, Mercy, right, you, you, you guys have got the Saigon now. Um, that and like the pharmacy's like flying in the air, right, pharmacy flying in the air. Um, that's the moment where you want to be shooting. Like, I'd honestly say, if your pharmacy's here, you're here with Baptiste and whatnot, um, I would honestly be like, uh, pin through here, right, and then try if the enemy, if the enemy, if you haven't killed the Baptiste and he actually rotated away, um, then I'd still be chasing him. Um, and then, like, if the pharmacy, if the pharmacy is shooting me from here, that is when I'd, I'd, when I'd be shielding. Um, yeah, if you're moving okay. through space or aggressing, that's when you want to be shielding the pharmacy. So, after I clear that out, I should try and get near the point, rather than going in, uh, going for the Arisa? Um, I mean, the Arisa will be on points, right? I think, again, if, if the Baptiste is here, the Arisa is here, the pharmacy is in the air, okay. um, pin and go for the Baptiste. I right, chase his ass. Dive him down. Okay. Um, and then if, again, if the pharmacy is shooting you, 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 you shoot off and you're fine. Um, so so yeah. But again, the key thing of that is controlling the high grounds. Okay. You can see how tough this is right now, right? Like you can see how tough this is against like frontlining into a full shot, fully shot, fully shot sim and Davisa. Yeah. You will lose the frontline matchup every single time. And you need to go for backline there. It's not like you can even go Zarya and go frontline because Zarya is terrible into pharmacy here as well. So you get kicked out of the way. I think I did. I did swap Zarya for 
like five seconds and I died and just swap back. Mm, okay. Yeah, I don't know what you're actually doing there. Yeah, this is fine, right? Just fire tracking on corners here, fine. Okay. Okay, wait for your team. But yeah, probably a little bit more closer to the corner there. Right, a little bit closer. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Again, using shield there for no reason. Again, like that was no, there was no point of that shield. Um. Should I shield forward or should I try and go around? You, I was gonna that. say, like again, like if you go front line here, you're gonna die. Right, and I'm not gonna okay. lie, this map is kind of badly designed because there's no right side flank, so they can hold choke here. Um, you only, I, I honestly recommend you drop here and then go here. And avoid the turrets, avoid everything else, and do the exact same thing that you did. Right, either pin through here, okay. right, or pin through here. Right, again, the, your main goal is clearing out the side grounds and avoiding the front end matchup because you will again okay. get cooked by the sim and the Arisa. You'll get cooked every time, um, without no, with, uh, no, 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 no doubts. And you're, you're, you're like you, <laughs> yeah. This is no point. Like, you're gonna, you're, it's, it's you're fighting a losing battle, like. No matter how good your micro is, you will lose this every time. Not not even LH Cloudy could win a frontline matchup against the setup that these guys have. <laughs> right, you have to walk into turrets, far spam, sim spam, mercy but mercy boost, a Risa spear spin. You will do nothing. You will do nothing if you don't go for backline. Like you cannot go for frontline here. It, 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 it's a losing battle every time. I guarantee you, if LH Cloudy was in this game right now, he flanks left side and then goes for the dive part. Right, he die again, dives through that window. <laughs> I like dive through here, while like even um, through that right side there, like even through here, right? Um, okay. And the same thing, by the way, the same thing applies to Winston here too, um, or any tank in the game. Um, if you're playing Winston here, I would say the exact, exact same thing. You go through here, then obviously because Winston has a jump, he's not pinned, you could jump here, right, jump on these guys, and then, you know, if you get low, you, uh, I bubble here too, and then if you get low, then you can fall off, right? And then you get healing by your team. And like the same thing okay. kind of goes, goes, with, goes with the line up there. Yeah. I think I mainly stayed frontline this game. Yeah, and it's just, again, this is well. You will lose every time. Like, I don't care how good your marker yeah. is, you will lose. You're just, yeah, not doing much there. Even with Matrix, even with Matrix I st and Valkyrie, I still think you guys lose frontline here. Okay. That is how oppressive the, the setup they have is. Again, just not. Can't do anything there, right? Yeah. The power of brute force you will not will not work. <laughs> You can see, you can see how tough you have, have a time you're having, right? Um, yeah. Turrets, the the Arisa, the the fucking the pharmacy spam, yeah. And I think, I think honestly, like how, how often do you go against these types of comps? Like, it doesn't have to be this exact comp, obviously. But how often are you going against Honor, Zen, Bap, Mercy? You know, ranged stuff, like right? ranged stuff with a lot of poke damage. Like, how often are you going against that in your games? Um, I, I'm going against that quite a bit. I think. Yeah. It's right. A lot of flying characters too, like yeah. Echo and Vera. It's For kind sure. of hard to go against. For sure. Right. Even even John to some extent too. Um, yeah. So again, I think this is the, this is where you're gonna we you're really gonna climb some games, right? Like this idea, this this um macro ideology of like pushing the angles here. I get it's literally some it's it's a simple it's just how simple it is. It's either front line, mm -hmm. um. My alarm. Uh, frontline versus angles, right? And again, as I've, as I've explained before, you lose frontline every time um, against this this, this bam comp. Um, so okay. yeah. Okay. Is, is this where you switch over? Oh, okay. Uh, same thing probably happens here. I mean, now you guys are mirroring, and if you if you went Zarya here, I could maybe see you going frontline here. Like, and you could probably frontline this and be fine. Um, because Zarya will melt Arisa, and you're running a, a mirror here with Poke. Um, so frontlining, frontlining here, as you're doing right now in right now, isn't as bad. So your team are, are equalizing up the Poke damage. Um, but again, it's still not great for you. I'd still be saying for you to go for the, uh, the flank. Okay. I don't know why I'm shielding behind a wall. <laughs> yeah, again, like, you're, 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 like, even if you're frontlining this, like, I think we've already talked this before, about this before, but like 400 HP shield wasted for like no reason. You're not, you're not even pushing mm -hmm. in, right? So, yeah. 
Pin will do nothing. Pin will do nothing against the visa. Like she'll spear spin it. She'll full fire it. Right. If I'm in like a payload situation against an Arisa, should I swap or should I, or just go for the backline? Backline, 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 back back every time. Uh, I don't think maps. Okay. I don't. I don't think maps really affect. Um. Like, uh, can you give me a map off the top of your heads with payload? Um. Uh, Rialto. Rialto, and they're running. We can go on it right now, actually. Uh. Uh, uh, maps. Thanks. It's like, yeah, Rialto's probably a good example here. Um, Welcome to Rialto. I was kind of thinking around bridge area, actually. So, like, right around here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, this point is rough Orion, but, like, the way you play it, because of, it's, like, how much distance there is, um, God, I can't even highlight stuff. So yeah, the way you play it is you clear high guns. Um, and again, because you win in short ranges um, and in, in close sight lines like this, um, your job is to rotate as a team across this, across this uh, bridge. Um, okay. You show that you show you can shield your team, allow them to walk safely, right? And then you go up the high grounds, right? Um, and then yeah, you fight, fight. God. Then you fight around. Yeah, uh, uh, there you fight around here. Right. Um. Yeah, that's that's the, no yeah. the normal thing, honestly. Um, walking across a bridge against heavy, heavy spam, like, uh, pharmacy. Uh, what's another spam? Sigma pharmacy. Um, Zen honor, like that kind of stuff. It can be really grueling, and you need a Lucio. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you're playing Reinhardt on here against that kind of comp, you kind of need a Lucio to rotate here and close the distance. Um, I mean, against mm -hmm. Sigma, you you kind of win the front line matchup anyways against him. Um, but yeah, like. You kind of need to close the distance here and so, play close range. What if there's no one, no one high ground there? Just kind of sit behind payload, push it, and just keep going. It's like if there's no spam and you can just like, like there's no like where mm -hmm. like the enemy team are playing here, right? Maybe here, like down here this area, and then mm -hmm. close here. Um, yeah, I guess you can push payload. Like I, I guess. I mean, again, it depends on the comp that you're playing against. So like, if you're okay. playing against that same that same Arisa stuff that we saw just just now, um, mm -hmm. you can like push that payload right, and then they push it like up to here, right? And then as soon as you match the Arisa, that is when I'd be looking to like maybe flank around here, flank around here. Essentially, look to get a cheeky pin onto the enemy backline. Um, it can okay. be rough as Reinhardt's. Um, the micro will matter. So like again, HP management, fire strikes, corners, that stuff will really matter. Um, but if you're if you're frontlining, if, if Arisa's here, right? It's a terrible color. Mm -hmm. Um, Arisa's here, right? Um, you are here. Payload is here, right? And I don't know. Pharmacy is up in the sky. And then Zen is back here, right? Or Zen Ana, Baptiste, whatever, right? You will not win that in, in doing by going frontline. You will not win that at all. Um, you can even honestly, you can even like go through go upstairs, right? Go up here, go up here. Go up here, go up here, go up here. Ignore the Orisa on low grounds, right? And then yeah. either shield a shield hop, um, and, on the, and or pin straight onto the back line over here, right? You could even pin straight into straight through here, grab the mini, um, and then walk up high grounds, and again just get into close range against those squishies. Um okay. is, that, that is that still so fine if uh is that still okay if we don't have uh like a good ranged healer and I yeah, that's still and fine. like the mercy starts focusing me. Yeah, like is that still fine? That's that's still fine, right? Like if you're okay. running, uh, hang on, uh, if you're running like Ki Kiriko can teleport and Suzu you. Ana, like you can maybe you could, like she can turn on the corner and then heal, heal you anyways. Um, what's it? What, what else? Um, Zen doesn't really gonna heal you. Um, Baptiste can lamp you and he's fine. Mercy shouldn't really. Mercy's not gonna heal you anyways. Uh, Moira, hell, Moira could even come with you. Um, she's very survivable. Um, yeah, essentially, essentially, right? Like, again, okay. if, if you find like into that Arisa comp or into any put comp like that, you're gonna lose. Um, so okay. again, looking, looking to use map geometry and looking to get onto backline as much as you can. Um, again, if you watch okay. LH Cloudy's Reinhardt guide or my guide, um, they will say or they will imply the same thing with Pin, um, about going and trading our backlines. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll actually give another example of Midtown, uh, which is another push map, or payload map, I, sh I should say. Um, Midtown. Midtown. It sounds hybrid, right, yeah. Specs. So I think this example is in Cloudy's Run Like I Tier 2. Um, this is a specific one. 
It's like right. If you go second points. Okay. Right. So like Cloudy on Rhinot, what he did was uh he was playing Rhinot. He was playing here, right? He was playing Honor. I think it was Brig. Like Honor Brig here. And then the enemy team were running like Zen, um, Winston, uh, uh, something like that. Some, I, I don't know what it was. I think yeah, they're running on a Zen. I remember it now. They're running on a Zen here. And, and then enemy team payload was like here. Roughly here. What Cloudy did was he pinned straight onto the onto the Ana Zen, zoned them out. Um, and because Ana Zen don't do that much damage against the 1200, 1200 HP shield, um, he killed the Zen. Uh, and then zone off the honor, uh, and then the honor brig just took care of the wins or took care of the Winston. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's an example of again going for that die fault play style and going straight onto the squishies in close range. Where okay. if you're right here as Reinhardt, um, you're gonna win against an honor zen close range every time. Um, so so yeah. Um, what else to say? Um, oh yeah, I think in my Reinhardt guide I talk about um when you actually wanna not go for that, not go for that play, and when you actually want to go and pin the Winston, or things like that. Um, but, but yeah, like in, in short, if you're losing frontline matchups, like that Arisa one, um, you need to go for that dive up play style. You can't just, okay. like, you go on, go on other days where you can just walk frontline and hope for the best. Um, so yeah, let's go back to that game uh, and see, see what else happens. Okay. Well Right here. Okay. I don't even think you get value out of Shatter here, I'm not gonna lie. No, I don't. Like, I don't even know what you Shatter there at all. Like, it's, it's, it's funny too, right? Because, like, you may maybe you Shatter the Sim? Like, maybe. That's like a best case scenario. Um, But, like, I don't think that Arus is gonna allow you to get on top of uh, the, the Sim. Yeah. Right? So, okay. whereas, again, if you pin, pin through here, right, and clear up the high grounds, and if the Baptiste is still here, um, then you can get a shatter onto him, right? Or maybe even the Mercy with the far here if they're playing lazy and they're standing here too. Um, so yeah. Like, you're realis you're realis realistically, you're not, you're not gonna get a slam against that comp. Good luck. Yeah. Honestly, on the last, I would've just, like, kept, kept on pinning. I would've kept on pinning. I would've turned through here. Um, and I would've let, let, allowed, met, like, have these guys look at me, um, and chase me down. Like, it wouldn't have been the best player in the world. But it would have been better than frontlining like that, like 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 this. Okay. Here though, like the Baptiste is dumb, right? I don't know what he's doing. The Baptiste should be matrixing from here, right? Um, here you could if you get Chasser, you can jump Chasser around the corner here. You can even like pin, like pin here, and then Chasser, like look at the Chasser. Like you get the Mercy here, the the Baptiste, right? Um, so this could actually be a good opportunity for you here, right? With Chasser. I didn't know if I could reach this or not. Oh, uh, you can't. Um. It's not, don't worry about Soyuz, it's, it's not your job. Okay. And the pin, the pin, the front line, front line, front line, right? Like imagine, just yeah. imagine if you, if you rotate through here, pin here, and then went straight onto the Mercy, or straight onto the Bubs East. Right now he's exit crouching, right? So maybe not onto him, but even onto the Symmetra, the Arisa, like just onto some target that's unaware. Um, I think that could have been great. Okay. I said, you, you just can't get a you just can't. I think I shattered a Arisa when she was Fortify. I think that's what I did. Mm. Also, or maybe um, I swapped off. Yeah. So, um, do you know that um, shield doesn't block her surge? Oh no, I didn't know. Oh, it, it doesn't do that now. Okay. Um, okay. that was changed a while ago, I think, like February. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, you should still be shielding there, obviously, right, to not get spammed out. But um, yeah, just yeah. just, just into notes. Okay. Might be better, like, if, if you're playing against the Visa and she tells you, it might be better to just walk out normally or shield hop out rather than just hard shielding out because, you know, you can't. Um, Terra Surge goes, goes through shield, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, you go, so, yeah, you don't even chance here, so you go Zarya. No, sort of. Zarya here is pretty I think obvious. I got. Um, yeah. How, how I never Zarya? played Zarya. Okay, I. I no, Never no, plays Arya, but yeah, no, I think I got yeah, okay, trapped. Yeah, okay. Um, unlucky. Um, they're not, so I'm not. I know you don't play Arya here, but the two seconds Arya guide. Um, bubble aggression. Uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, and you'll get okay. you're getting aggressed on right now, so that's fine. And you get eight charge, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, I, I will say as, as well, if you're 
you can't play aggressive when you have no bubbles as well. Um, always have a bubble as a fail okay. safe. Um, yeah. So you just, oh, let's see, if you're playing Zarya there, just get two bubbles, you get a, you get a charge and walk out, and then get get your, get your bubbles again, then walk back in. Um, that's what you need to do there, so. And yeah, I mean, you guys are going to lose this anyways, so. Unfortunately. Winston's decent against this. In fact, he's, he's an even worse front, like, if you front on against, if you front on as Winston against Avisa, then I don't know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> let's win this, hang on. Okay, let's see what happens here. How? Okay. Did, I think your team, oh, I assume they take angles here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, look, look, look at your Ash. Like, this is, like, again. Like, again, she's actually doing the, the same thing, right? Like, you, you, Ash is not going to do fuck all if she stands here <laughs> for main. Like, she needs to go for angles yeah. here. Um, right, if the Ash gets a pick, it's directly on her. Look, look, look at that, like, look at that, right? Like, you could have done that on yeah. Why Not, right? That's exactly the thing I was talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, obviously the way you do it is different to Ash, obviously. Um, but the, the theories are still the same. And then once their backline dies, this entire comp is crippled. Um, so yeah. Thankfully that Ash did not stand our main. Thank Justice fuck. You guys would have you, you guys would have lost that game easily. Yeah. Your deepest carry that for you. Um, yeah. The, the big, the biggest, 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 biggest thing there is knowing when to go for die farts, right? Um, and when you do, <laughs> when you go for die farts, it's uh, when you lose the frontline matchup, right? And you, you clearly lose that here. Um, so yeah, normally, um, I also say for die farts, um, it's normally against immobile, immobile, uh, ranged comps, right? Um, the reason why I say immobile is because if you're on a Baptiste, he's not going to run away from you. Um, you can't run away from you. Um, and I, the reason why I say range is because, again, in close range, you win, right? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's knowing when to do the die part thing is really, really key. Um, we've got a few more minutes if you want to go over, like, another an replay code or do a quick summary. Um, and then we can, we can wrap it up. Uh, I don't know if we have time for another replay, so maybe... Summary. Yeah, pro yeah, probably wrap it up. Yeah, so like number one thing, number one thing, um, and die thing. Um, that's the the biggest area of focus for you is um limit testing, right? And then you know making sure um you don't frontline against comps you can't frontline against. That's the biggest okay. thing by far. Um, it almost cost you that game. It should have cost you that game. Um, yeah. And th the thing is, is like, like because you won that game, you kind of like don't learn from it. So if that makes sense, like you're like, oh, okay, yeah. it's fine, it's whatever. We still won the game, whatever. Um, on to the next one, right? Whereas, like, I feel like if you got some like negative feedback from that, um, maybe you'd be more in inclined in, in in learning this playstyle. Um, okay. I recommend. Uh, I'll send you some links afterwards about. I I can like, I recommend LH Cloudy's guide as well as mine. Um. Okay. And if you type in to YouTube Spilo2 uh, Die Farts, then I think that might be a lot a very insightful for you. Um so get those okay. those three things there. Um to to brush up on the die fart stuff. Um second so, thing, uh, yeah, go on. Uh how should I know or like what team comps do I not like die fart against or how do I know what how to play against certain team comps? Is there a link or something, maybe? Um, I... Yeah, I don't really have a link for that too much. I mean... Okay. I, yeah, I don't... I just don't have a link. Um, I think... I'm trying to think of the top of my head right now. Um, the closest... Oh, that video isn't even... It's too broad. Um, I, mean, I suppose I can... Okay, I think I can... If you type in Spike Gaming... Um, mm -hmm. Let me do it right now. I can show it right now, actually. Like... Uh, excuse the uh, the blank screen. I I use things to block off stuff. Um, it's fine. Spike. Okay, and then Spike Gaming Overwatch. Yeah, here it is. Right. So frontline versus angles. The reality matchups. No watching one or two. Um, that video is really really good. Um, 
Yeah, and it kind of explains, okay. because you can kind of see it here, right? Like, taking angles against a comp that you don't win against frontline with. It was 6v6, yeah. it applies to 6v6, um, but um, the same concepts it applied to, uh, to Overwatch 2 as well. Um, I think that video might be might be helpful to you. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the only video I have off the top of my head. Um, but generally speaking, though, um, if you if you lose the frontline matchup drastically, that is when you should be going for dive arts. Um, if you get spammed okay. out, if you're playing range, um, if you can't get into close range, um, if all you're doing all game is fire striking and not swinging, then that is that probably gives you a sign to okay, we should we should be dive arting. Um, but yeah, um, that I think honestly, like I'd say that it's like the only thing you should be working on right now because I think that was the greatest ROI or return on investment thing you could do right now. Um, you know, I think yeah, that's just like you will climb honestly, you will climb to like diamond or even probably even masters if you just master that one thing. Um, okay. But yeah, um, as for like micro, like shield management is probably the the biggest elephant in the room here. Like plenty of times yeah. you are walking forward and like shielding out for no reason. Um, Again, on, on both defense and attack, to make sure when you're pushing in, um, in or you're being pushed onto, that you have twelve hundred shield while you're close to it. Um, so yeah, because there were multiple te team fights where you you went into the fight and you had four hundred shield, right? And that's like that's terrible. Like you, that can't happen. Yeah. Um. So that's really it's a really easy thing to fix it too. Just play cover. Um, and then just don't, don't use your shield until you're in, you're in full range. Um, so okay. yeah. Uh, what else? So should I, um, in a game, when I'm like practicing these things, should I kind of focus on one thing at a time? Yes, yes, or... yes, yes. We'll focus on one thing at a time. Okay. Yeah. The, what, the biggest thing, like, if you're, especially if you're struggling, I mean, ideally, I'd love to, for you to say, or like, you could just be some hyper fixated human that can just do everything at once, right? But that's not how humans work. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, Learning anything like a new skill or like you know driving or playing uh, an instrument, um, you learn them one by one. I, that's as for most people, I think. Um, okay. So yeah, like especially if you're struggling, just fixate on one thing. Um, I'd probably say the place of thing, right? Um, is, is the thing you should nail, right? And you know, if, if, if like in that in that first uh, half of the game there, when you're not playing the die parts, that is when you can focus on other things, right? Like you're not worrying about pinning onto the fucking Baptiste or the Mercy. Um, or the Ash, or the Sim, or things like that, you can then focus more so on your micro. So like your short managements, for example. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, third thing, uh, it's just super easy, just fire strike corners. It's, it's that, yeah, just fire strike corners. Um, it's really, really easy. Um, so that's why I'm only putting it here, because you can kind of do this on autopilots. Um, but yeah, it's just super, yeah. super easy. Um, just fire strike corners, you will get more old charge. I guarantee it. Um, but yeah. Um, any questions? Um... No, I don't think so. Alright, cool. Um, well, if you do have, if you do find anything, um, then do be sure to feel free to message me. Um, I should okay. hopefully I should answer it. Um, but yeah, this will also be on YouTube in a few a few days, I think maybe. Um, 